शक्ति देना मन विजय करे हमको मन की शक्ति देना मन विजय करे India is my country. All Indians are my brothers and sisters. I love my country and am proud of its rich and varied heritage. I shall always strive to be worthy of it. I shall give my parents, teachers and all elders respect and treat everyone with courtesy. To my country and my people, I pledge my devotion. In their well-being and prosperity alone lies my happiness. This unique Republic Day, I pray and wish that we each of us should take the responsibility to protect the constitution of our country and become responsible, committed citizens who will uphold equality and brotherhood in our country. Let our country rise in its beauty of nature and varied culture. Happy Republic Day! A warm greetings to all of you. On this Republic Day, let us think of our leaders who inspire us to greatness with their life of freedom, with responsibility and dedication. Their values become our values, their hopes become our hopes, and we owe so much to them and salute them from the bottom of our hearts. Let us contribute to our country for a better living with responsibility to create a society of peace and justice. Happy Republic Day. A very fine morning to one and all. Today is a very important day for each one of us. Yeah, it's 72nd Republic Day. Every year on 26th of January, we celebrate as a Republic Day. The day in which Indian Constitution come to force back in 1950. India is a democratic country and a nation which each citizen can choose their leader who, who deserve to lead the nation. Few deterioration have also come with it, such as unemployment, lack of late rates, pollution, poverty, and so on. All we can do is to promise to solve these problems together as a people of Indian nation, for becoming our country is the best country in the world. Public Day reminds the struggle of Indian National Congress with the help of youth achieved, its demand of Puna Swaraj. The struggle for freedom was based on some ideas such as non-violence, cooperation, non-discrimination and so on. 
Declaration of Indian Independence, Poona Swaraj, who proclaimed by the Indian National Congress, proposed by dominant status offered by the British regime. So, on this auspicious day, let's pray for our country's well-being. And as a proud Indian, let's make our country is the best country in the world. Thank you and have a great day. A nation's culture resides in the heart and in the soul of its people. A very happy Republic Day to our end all. I'm Lakshmi here to speak about the importance of Republic Day. So first, let us know what does the word Republic mean? Republic means a state in which the supreme power is held by the people and the elected representatives, which has an elected or a nominated president rather than a monarch. So usually on Republic Day, we have flag hoisting ceremonies and parades by armed forces and children held in different parts of the country. The most important among this parade is held at Rajpath in New Delhi, which reflects our country's rich cultural heritage and military prowess. One of the main functions of this Republic Day Parade is to pay tribute to the martyrs who have sacrificed their life for our country and to confer bravery awards on military persons, citizenry and children who are showing courage on the face of adversity. The parade begins with the winners of Gallantry Awards saluting President on open military jeeps which is followed by the display of tanks, missiles and other equipments which are added to the arsenal of military. After this, we have the march past of military officers, home guards, police, and national cadet corps. This is followed by a vibrant parade by the tabloxes of different states and cultural dances of patriotic children. This Republic Day parade is concluded by a daredevil motorcycle riding and a fly past by Indian Air Force. Due to this COVID-19 pandemic, we won't have any foreign chief guests and the number of participants are going to be lesser. Although we have discovered a vaccine against COVID-19, which is Covaxin, we need to be careful against this deadly virus and need to act as a responsible citizen of India. So before I conclude, I just want to say one thing. Be the change you want to see in the world and feel proud to be an Indian. Thank you and have a very fruitful day. Hello friends, with wind blowing from four corners of heaven, with rights of liberty and freedom. With a strong determination to bring about the change, we stand here to celebrate the 72nd Republic Day of our country. In January 1950, the newly drafted Constitution of India came to be enforced by replacing the Government of India Act 1925. Today, let us remember golden heritage of our country and feel proud to be a part of India. You and I are safe to be because somebody is guiding our family. sisters, teachers, and all my dear friends, a warm welcome to all of you. All of us have gathered here to celebrate the 72nd Republic Day of our country today. We observe Republic Day on 26 January because the Constitution of India came to force on this day in 1950. India is a republic and just nation where every citizen is allowed to choose the leader who deserves to serve the nation. The Republic Day reminds us of the struggle, how the Indian National Congress, with the help of youths, achieved the demands of the Poona Swaraj. The struggle was based upon high principles such as cooperation, non-violence, non-discrimination, etc. For this, the Republic Day of India is celebrated by all the Indians with great zeal and grandeur. It is the day of national pride. Friends, I conclude my speech by wishing each one of you a very happy Republic Day. Thank you.
sphere and the head is held high where knowledge is free and the world is not broken up to fragments. These are the lines written by Rabindranath Tagore. But the question is, are we really without fear? Is knowledge free? Is the world not fragmented? India is a country blessed with talented people, natural resources, a functioning democracy and an appetite for growth and development. However, have we arrived? Not yet. Today, the first point I'd like to discuss is about the power abuses of the Indian society. India is blessed with several natural resources than any other countries like Singapore, Japan, South Korea, etc. is still far behind economically than any of these countries. Indian author Arundhati Roy wants the world to know that her country is under the control of its largest corporations. Wealth is concentrated in the hands of fewer and fewer, says Roy. These few corporations now run the country. In some ways, they run the political parties and hence they run the media. Secondly, one of the biggest issues faced by the people in the Indian society is the discrimination based on caste, creed, religion, etc. It is time for us to introspect what is wrong with our society. After seven decades of independence, even in the 21st century, many Dalits and those from lower caste still face inhuman treatments. In cases of gender equality, patriarchy, female infanticides, domestic violence, rapes, and all that concerns the LGBTQ, etc., are the challenges of India which are still unsolved even today. As citizens, it is our responsibility to raise our voice and stand against injustice and fight for our principles. Next, what is the biggest threat of our society is crime and corruption. Corruption is like a plague that has become widespread. In the past, corruption was limited to the police and the revenue departments. But today, corruption has spread to every arena including education, health, sports, religious institutions, etc. Corruption has led to the lack of humanity and compassion. For instance, there are cases reported that the food supplies being diverted to the black market during floods and famines instead of reaching the victims. It's very disappointing that even after taking thousands and thousands of measures, the rate of corruption and crime has not been decreased. As responsible citizens, it is our duty to stand for justice and say no to corruption. Last point is the question of democracy and the freedom of expression. Several factors are very necessary for a healthy society. Some of them are vision, mission and objective. It is the birthright of every person to receive respect, no matter what religion, gender, caste or creed you belong to. Vision, on the other hand, is to achieve freedom through education and justice. Objective is to ensure good governance through good laws and good people. According to our constitution, it is the right of every citizen to express their emotions and opinion to receive and impart information without interference. However, we must argue to protect the rights, the reputation and the freedom of other people as well as their private lives. But unfortunately, we are chained. To conclude, let us join our hands to build the foundation of a prosperous future. Let us propel our nation 
towards success and let's stand up and fight for our principles so that every Indian could live a life of dignity, prosperity and honour. Jai Hind! पंजाब सिंध गुजरात मराठ द्राविद उत्कल बंगा विंध्य हिमाचल यमुना गंगा उच्चल जलति तरंगा तब शुभ नामी जागी तब शुभ आशीष मागी गाहे तब जय गाजा जनगन मंगल दायक जय हि भारत भाग्य विदादा जय हि जय हि जय हि जय 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 हि